Okay, so let's see. We've got this uh, bobsled run, right? So it's like, yeah, okay, right. 75 meters long. Okay, here's your bobsled. Looks like a bobsled, doesn't it? All right, there it is. Right? By the time it gets to the bottom of this thing, it's going... The thing down here is going 60 kilometers per hour, right? So I'm just going to divide that by 3.6 to get 16.6 uh, bar meters per second, right? So that's its speed at the bottom there, right? Um, it seems to me like we need to solve a SUVOT problem here, right? So that's my first first thing I'm going to do is solve that, right? I'm going to use uh, V squared is U squared plus 2AS, right? Uh, my final velocity is 16.6 .6 bar. My initial velocity is zero, right? So that equals uh, zero squared plus two times a times, and then it's down the plane, right? It's down there, so it's negative 75, right? Okay, so therefore my acceleration is equal to, uh, let's see, 16.6 .6 bar divided by two divided by negative 75, and I get negative 1.85. And this is a repeating, this is awesome. It goes 1.85, 1.85, 1. So it's 1.85, 185, 185, 185, 185. I love that. We collect numbers like that. So step one, we found the acceleration down the plane, right? Um, now we have a we have a coefficient of friction, right? Uh, so I think we've got a hmm, got the acceleration. I think we gotta find some forces here. So let's find the parallel force. Parallel force is uh, mg sine theta. So it's 22 times 9.81 times sine of 6. All right, so let's go um, 22 times 9.81 times sine of 6, 22.559. 559 newtons, right? So that's my parallel force acting down the plane. That's this guy. Point five five nine. Let's figure out the friction force, right? Because if it's sliding down the plane, right, the friction force will be up the plane. Okay, so let's figure that out. So the force of friction is mu times the normal force is going to be mu times m times g cos theta. Right, so that's going to be 0 0.1 times 22 times 9.81 times cos six let's do that guy okay. point one times twenty two times nine point eight one times cos of six twenty one point four six four I only have two sig figs if I carry five why that should be enough okay so that is our friction force and that will be a force acting up the plane twenty one point four six four and then there's some unknown force right there's a Ooh, unknown force, presumably down the plane, because these guys are so close together that that thing can't accelerate very fast, right? 22 kilograms. Okay, so our next step is to set up F equals MA, right? Okay, so we have three forces. We've got hmm, unknown force, right? This guy's down the plane, that guy's up the plane, right? So minus 22.559 plus... 21.464 equals 22 times 1.58158 repeating, right? And that is down the plane, right? It's negative. You got to carry that negative there, right? So that's down the plane. This is the parallel force. It's always down the plane. The friction force, since we're sliding down the plane, is up the plane, right? This is a worthy problem. I like this. Okay, so I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 22 times negative 1.58158. I'm going to subtract. I'm going to go minus 21.464. And I'm going to go plus 22.559. And let's see what happens when I hit enter. Ch -ch 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 
and that's because I'm not very good at typing numbers. Let's try this again. Okay, 185. 185. Okay, here we go. Okay. 39.6457. Six, four, five, seven. I mashed some numbers there. Okay, so um, let's see. I guess that would be thirty-nine point six uh, newtons, and it's negative, is what I get. Okay, they don't get negative because they don't adhere strictly to negative is down the plane, right? Okay, but I get a, I get a force of thirty-nine point six newtons acting down the plane. So this is definitely definitely here. I'll draw a little fletchings on the air, or not the fletching. Yeah, there we go. The notch or something like that. So this is 39.6 newtons down the plane. Okay.